<laughs> your boy Jay Diggs just texted me. He said he landed two hours. He wanted to get out. I sent him the address. He talking about, no, they say that's the police station. I said, no, nah, bro, it's closed. It's a long, dark street. Ain't nothing open with me. I see you at 830. And fuck your mama again. <laughs> it's right. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, I think, listen, I think what he did, Jay did, Jay did look, I think what he didn't did, though, he didn't want to call somebody or something, and they probably didn't told him, bro, dude ain't no rapper, <laughs> go over there, he gonna knock you down, bro, it's <laughs> just that simple, it ain't, it's gonna be real quick, I, I, I tried to tell this dude, and damn, oh, that's the, wait, that's the bitch ass nigga from over here, nigga, this is the, Nigga, it's a long, dark, quiet, dark, dark, dark. I'm talking about dark, and it's it's, it's factory. Ain't factory. nothing over for me. Factory, factory, factory. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> ain't nothing over. Man, you know that Jerry Curl ass nigga don't want that fade. <laughs> boy, boy y'all showing up on over here, boy. I will be your he can, he can match that. If, he can do the match that if there's a police station over there. He hey, ain't no motherfucking police station even close <laughs> by that. Not over here. I'm a Jerry Curl nigga, man. Ain't no fucking police even close. This shit is over here. And, and everything is closed. I'm on a back street. This is a back street. The whole weekend, don't nothing open. I'm so slick with it. Everything over here closed at five. I don't open the studio till six. They don't never see us. Bring your ass on over here, boy. I, it took me. I had a circle whack three, four, four times before I found the motherfucker. <laughs> in the bitch. <laughs> I promise you, I had. I passed like. You know, it's crazy. Like, where you at? I'm like, man, I'm right here. Where the fuck's it? They're like, oh no, no, you. you Man, I had did like three times. I finally had thousand. Oh shit, this shit they're down a little. Man, better quit <laughs> playing. What's crazy is, see, people be telling me clout chase. I didn't talk so bad about his mama. It didn't went viral. He fell in some some kind of way. And then the shit about he laid up with a man. That thing went everywhere. Everybody texting about it. So now you're in a position where at 52 years old. Either you got to let it go or run into a wall. All behind cloud chasing. Nigga can't be cloud chasing at 52, bro. Nah, no, that's, that's sad. That's sad. Not at 52. I seen the nigga had a, a phone call with Suge, right? This is crazy. On the internet, right? Him and Suge talking. He like, yeah, big Suge. Yeah, yeah, man, I be wanting to holler at you. Should like, yeah, so I know should when he don't really know a nigga. But somebody told him something and they figure like they know each other. He said, yeah, I remember Drake stole your song. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> he said, I remember Drake stole your song. He like, my song? He like, yeah. You don't remember you let me listen to that song? So dude like, nah. He know he better not say Drake just stole the song from him, right? He's over with it. Like, yeah, you remember you let me listen to that song? And then later on, you told me Drake stole it? He like, nah, that wasn't me. Nah, nah, you remember the song? So I'm telling myself, either this nigga going to go along with this shit to make it look good, or he going to deny it and show us that you and this nigga really don't know each other, right? And then he said, yeah, sure. I want to pick your brain. On the music business. Now, this was so crazy, right? And this is what people really got to do. Everybody was somebody at some point in time in their life, and that's cool. But let's be real. In 2023, Suge Knight has zero relevance to the music business. He knows nothing about it. Just keep real. Isn't he Suge, don't know isn't nothing Suge about it. He don't know nothing about streaming, radio, YouTube, nothing. His last successful project came out in the late 90s. Just be real. Right? But these stupid motherfuckers are ride off. That's your night. Okay. What business meeting about music can you possibly have with a nigga that lost his whole company and ain't dropped a motherfucking song in 25 years? 
Y'all ain't never thought about it like that. This nigga wasn't no motherfucking. What is it to talk about? Y'all pull up one song that was released uh, after he got out of jail, bro. Pull one up. The nigga couldn't even get distribution. Actually, the bozo ass nigga had distribution with E1 with Koch and fucking uh, and fucking uh, he wanted it so bad back with the major who told him we ain't letting you back in, we blackballing you. The nigga wouldn't do distribution with Koch and went bankrupt. 2004 death row was gone. Last project was dropped was like 97, 98. And he didn't even drop that record yet. Man, y'all believe what Wack be talking about, man? So when I see a bowler, don't talk about man, I don't see you. Wack be scared. Sure, I'm going to talk to you about, about this music business. I know you's a bowler, though. Niggas better start so getting on the motherfuckers. Not today, though. Not today, you don't. Know. You don't know shit about it. It's real shit. Nothing. That nigga ain't Jimmy Iovine. He not puff. He not stunner. He not. That nigga don't got one residual dime coming in from the music business right now. That nigga over there eating his ass off. All them hits. And niggas don't want to call him a dummy. It's a damn shame. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up. See, niggas don't think about it. All that music, everybody he fucked over is the ones on top. Snoop. Trey. Snoop got his catalog and owns Death Row. Trey got his catalog back. Tupac and Tate's got their catalog back. Sound like he, he got some good niggas around him. He fucked everybody over, bro. They say like they was all good. They all successful. How they, how they him and the lawyer in on, they was on good terms? Hell David no. David Kennedy, nigga? Well, you know, he try to use David Kennedy to rap. He try to get, use David Kennedy to snitch. Kennedy wouldn't do it. Reggie, you know, he better not boy, I ping Reggie in here, boy. Hey, hey, Reggie, boy. Boy. Pinky, man, here, Unc. You know Reggie, Reggie don't tell him. No fucks. <laughs> I swear he don't. Mm -hmm. But it's just real shit. If I, I put him, I seen them Birdman put a thing up. Yeah, we got to run the room on that. Yeah, you should have ran a room yeah, on that. I was saying, we, I was going to try to do a Sunday. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you did it on. I don't know why he didn't run that. See, he didn't took it down. Let me tell that nigga to send it. Nah, uh, uh, Egg posted it up. It's talking about the billboard shit, right? No, one where he had the top, the top, um, uh, that one where he, 10 yeah, on, 10 he exactly. had to remind these niggas what's going on. Yeah, I, <laughs> he reminded them niggas what's going on in that caption that he put. Like 50 years of hip hop, 30 we've been doing this shit, baby. <laughs> nah. <laughs> See, that one? He had the top 10 execs, bro. They they had the top 10 execs. Well, the the one, but a the few of them was questionable. Where they got you at, Wack? <laughs> I shouldn't be up there. It's too many. Nigga, they didn't have top dog up here. They didn't have. Oh, dogs. shit. They didn't have QCP up there. They was tripping. Oh, fuck. Them niggas had Master P up there, motherfucking. Oh. But isn't Master P broke? Why isn't Master P broke? I said, I'm trying to tell you, you can't be a top 10 exec, you lost your cover. Yeah, yeah Birdman put a message yeah, under there. That, yeah, they didn't have, um, they didn't have Gazi up there from Empire. Did they have Birdman up there? They better Birdman have. was number yeah, one. Birdman oh, said that. Go. Top dog, he should be top dog wasn't up there. We wasn't up here. Birdman, L.A. Reed. Um, I agree with that one. 
Hey, I'm a, I just told him to send me the picture. He didn't. He didn't delete it. I deleted the shit. I'm looking for it. I got it somewhere, man. Graduated from university two years ago. Uh. She was already a restaurant tour as the owner of Fa Ever in Alhambra. So you like about 15 pounds, all the flavor of the barrel from Alhambra. But her journey started with the family restaurants in Gardena, where Holly's immigrant parents. Birdman, hey, is is a Birdman hey. one of the longest that's been doing it though? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thirty years. He should be he should be number one right now, right? No, he was number one. Definitely number one. So let me ask, hey, saying, what uh, was the? I'm saying executive. Yeah. What was like the conditions that they needed to have to be on that list? Because Master P definitely should have been on that. Who was number two on that list? Hell no. Like what? Like what it was, was the like requirement? It was like freedom not was suspect. That shouldn't have been there. But for for top dog not to be there, Coach K and P not to be there. Oh, he just said it to me right now. All right, he just said it. Shit, okay. he they got Birdman right. Birdman, Diddy, Jay Z. I don't know why Jay Z there. Dr. Dre, Russell Simmons, Master P, L. A. Reid, Dame Dash, Jermaine Dupri, and Suge Knight. Suge Knight, Suge Knight, Jermaine Dupri, Master P, right? Yeah, P, no Nigga, ain't no way. You gotta have uh, QC and Gazza. Uh, QC, Top Dog. Yeah, and Top and Gazza for sure. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, two QC and, and Gazza. What nigga was P? It sounded like he was They ain't on got him in there at all. He's not in there. They put Suge Knight. I'm talking about Master P. Oh, they what got number Master P number, number six. six. They got him before. Oh. You gotta put QCP up in that motherfucker too, though. They's tripping. I ain't, look, I'm not fighting Dre. I'm not fighting Russ. Jay Z, because, uh, you know, yeah, he was the president of Def Jam, but, you know, I guess they say in Rock Nation. I guess that's what that is. All right, cool. Fuck it. By default. Okay. Top rock, fuck it. <laughs> By Jay-Z, default. Stunner, Diddy, Jay Z, Dre, Russell. Top is one through five. Six. Six through ten, the only nigga I'm gonna stand with is L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed should have been in Masterpiece spot. Uh, L.A. Reed should have been in Jay Z spot. Top five. Or Jay Z, yeah. He should have been Jay Z spot. It's right, KFT. Talk about Coach K in there. Should Knight, Jermaine Dupree, Dan. Yeah, Coach K. Them hoes. <coughs> Coach K, QCP, Gazi, and Top Dog. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, now that's a good list. Straight that's up. a good list right there. That's a great list. I don't know why the fuck they ain't yeah, got, they ain't got yeah, Coach K and QC, the niggas in there. Nope. That's, what? Nah. That, that shit, shit don't even make crazy. sense. Nah, nah, niggas, nah, nah, they help pull it in. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. Hey, hey, what? Hey, so, why you think they got Jermaine up there? Why? Why you who who the who the um questionable Gazi, who the suspect people? Gazi with Empire, right, y'all? Yeah, Gazi is Empire. Yeah, it's Empire. Say, what about Empire? Yeah, they they <laughs> definitely should. Who the? They've been breaking the niggas out, bro. That's, that's a tough fun. ass. Not not real real list, man. Man. Yeah, the list whack just yeah, made. Yeah, that's all we right here. I I want to know why they why did they put the main up there. I want to know why did they put Jay Z? They, 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 they wagging. I know they wagging. Why, why did they? Jermaine Dupree? He is so so deaf. He, he yeah. might not be like um top ten, but he definitely yeah. top twenty. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he top, top 10, ten. He top ten. Oh, he say not he top, ten. top ten, bro. He I would say he top twenty. I would say he top twenty for sure, though. Well, he top twenty. Come on. No, I'm saying top ten. I, I, no, yeah. not not top ten. Not, not top ten. No. I would not say top twenty for sure. You missed Ngazi. You look. You can't put Suge Knight there, and he lost his whole company. You can't put Dame Dash there. He lost his whole shit. Right. Master P lost his whole shit. You three niggas lose by default. <laughs> Is there a timetable that they put on there? What? No, nah, they just put one through ten. So this is all. This is an all time list. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But they they obviously ain't going off if they lost their company, nah, not because they, they would have Bro, to be off that by default. You when can, you say top exec, I'm with you. how you a top exec and you yeah, don't lose. I'm with you on that one. That's what I'm saying. I'm with you on that one. That's, that means something. If you still got your shit yeah. where they starting, that means a lot, nigga. That's all. For the same reason why Birdman is number one, it's the same because he's still yeah. here pumping. Yeah. It's the same reason why 
Suge Knight should right. even be on the list of bastards. Right. So yeah, they got three people on there that lost their companies. That's what I'm saying. Then you got you got Top Dog, Gazi, and QCP and fucking uh, Coach K. Not even on the list. It's in my PTR. It's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Is Diddy still being consistent with music? Yeah, he's music. Nah, not at all. Yeah. But he's, he's still, still in music. You no, know, he got between, you know, uh, Bad Boy shit and Faith and, and, and Biggie and, and French all this shit. Bro. And he still got his company. You know, uh, French Montana, I believe he had French too in the early years. He, he still got some type of little situation with him. Yeah, he, uh, his company. That's matter. Okay. So th are they including also management in this? Nah, that's just, uh, bro, that bottom row, mm -hmm. one of them niggas need to be the L.A. Reed. The rest should be Gazi, Coach K, P, and Top Dog. Straight up. L.A. Reed should be six, and they should follow after that. <laughs> Bro, I think they put Jay Z up there because they ain't want the backlash. It's a PC answer. It's a politically correct. Yeah. So I got I got follow up question for you. Like out of out of everybody we just named, who do you think you kind of take your your style after or your your management skill after? Nigga, he already said That's that. No, I might I might have missed oh, it. I, I missed it. That's why I'm asking. I missed it. Oh no! Um, far as when they come to the label, yeah, shit, yeah. <clears throat> Stunner, the one move different from all of them right there. He the only one still in control of this shit. I don't let nobody control my shit. Man, they ain't got Jay A lot Prince of them niggas be giving up their creative and man. all that shit. They just, <clears throat> you know, I ain't got to wait on the nigga to drop that. I mean, uh... Jay Prince, that's that nigga. Hold on, but again, he got his shit outside of yourself, who's somebody that's ain't on the radar yet that we that, that we need to be looking for as far as on some executive shit that you see making some moves? That um, on the West Coast, um, we top dog, right? Nah, we know about top. Nah, he already about top. Yeah, I'm talking right, about somebody yeah, who you know, should be looking um, for uh, type shit. It's a youngster named Runchy from Grace. I was Street. just about to he see him. <laughs> he just quiet. Like, you know, Rod Wave, O3, Greedo, yeah, that's his own. Yeah, that to my attention. I was like, yeah, that nigga got some shit over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know who else? Uh, he didn't get his credit. Every time he get a break, what, what's the nigga name? Um, he from New York. They had what's nephew name. He the one found Cola Ray. Um, Billy J. It's a youngster named Billy J. I think Billy J out the Bronx. He been around a long time. A long time. But every time he, like he the one got Cola Ray or deal. Cola Ray is actually signing him. Yeah, he got to deal with Atlantic. Um, Billy J been around a while. The other dude too, um, I can't sleep on him. He got, he had Cardi. Uh, what's the nigga name? He from New York too. The fuck is your name? You talking about Brooklyn Johnny? Yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn Johnny. What? Brooklyn Johnny doing the shit too. Who was that dude that I found? The, I think he on the West Coast. I want to say it was the West Coast because he was signing like West Coast artists, but he was giving like an independent bag. I gotta find the name of the company, bro. I think 